needed to quantify uncertainty and uh, to make educated guesses. So we're using the mathematical tool when we're looking at statistical inference of probability theory. So it provides a means to, to quantify how likely or unlikely the observed data would be assuming a particular statistical model is true. So note what, we're, what we have to do if you, if you look at something from a scientific kind of approach, usually if you go into a laboratory, for example, what they're trying to do is isolate everything that has an impact to a few different impacts on, on a particular item, whatever they're testing, right? So that so that then they can see the cause and effect of the one of the one thing that they're looking at. So they're trying to isolate everything so that they can look at the cause and effect. When we look at kind of uh, predictability in the real world, we have to make similar kind of assumptions. We have to basically say, well, here's the statistical model that I'm putting together. Certain assumptions are going to be made in the uh, in the statistical model to make predict projections predictions about future outcomes, for example, in an election. And if these assumptions are true based on then, uh, then, the re then we can come up with a, a mathematical approach of what the result will be. But of course, a, a model is, is just a model. So a model is not the real world, because usually in the real world, unlike with a lab, we can't trim everything down to just a couple factors to test a couple factors. So we have to make, of course, assumptions. And then the question is, is the model that we put together, does it have good predictive power for for the results for the entire population or not? So it's gonna be in, dependent on the model and no model is perfect because the model is not the real world. It's just the model. Hypothesis testing. Hypothesis testing is another key element of statistical inference where, in essence, we form two opposing hypotheses about the population, the null hypotheses and the alternative hypotheses. We then collect data and compute a test statistic. So clearly, hypothesis testing is a core scientific tool. If we were to go back into our laboratory, for example, and run a scientific test 